Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we got something really cool. This is the Fly Pro X Jaguar 190 millimeter uh, FPV racing quadcopter. If you've seen a lot of my videos, I do quite a few little racing quadcopter uh, reviews and this one is a kit. So it comes, everything comes uh, unassembled you have to assemble this one yourself at least the version I'm getting here and you have to provide your own receiver and transmitter to control it so this is for somebody that kind of knows how to build quadcopters I'll have the links to this one down in the description it's supposed to be a really fast one it's got a really high C battery this is supposed to be a hundred C battery very high quality components and this is supposed to go very fast so something for a little bit you know intermediate to advanced users that know how to kind of solder and build quadcopters. Anyway, what I'm going to be doing in this review is it's going to be a full review. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it here in front of you. We're going to go ahead and inspect all the components, just take a closer look at them. And then um, I'm going to have my buddy Sage go ahead and do a quick little build. I'm going to go ahead and have the build in the video, but it's going to be sped up. So at least you can see the basics of it. If you need to, go ahead and slow it down. I'm not going to have any um, commentary on the build it's just going to be put to music so you know if that doesn't interest you you can fast forward through that to the flight test since this is going to be the full review here so let's go ahead and take a look at the box here it's just a white box here it's got the same picture on both sides of the Jaguar what's interesting about this one is it actually looks like a Jaguar so you can see the aluminum plate here on the sides kind of interesting it's got this aggressive Jaguar you know cat look to it Kind of interesting, I've never seen that before. Um, it's saying it's the first 8-in-1 tower structure, patented technology. It's got an um, F3 flight controller. It's got a video transmitter in here that you can change between 25, 200, and 500 milliwatts if you wanted to. 10, 10 to 1 thrust to weight ratio. Uh, saying fastest acceleration speed. And it's they're giving you a 1300 milliamp hour 4s 100c battery in the package with um, an FPV run cam Swift in the package as well. So this is going to be pretty awesome. Go ahead and check the link to see how much this thing costs. But let's go ahead and start with the unboxing here. This is what you get in the box. It looks pretty cool. Just opening the top. Here's all our components. This is the top tier. We can see we have our motors. Um, FPV antenna here, of course you could swap that out, that's just a monopole, but you could swap that out with a clover leaf if you wanted. Here's our, here's our uh, FPV camera, more motors down here, and then here's the three tier stack, so it's like the power board ESCs built into one. This is our um, flight controller here, and then this is our FPV transmitter, so that's going to be like a triple stack there, or more. It said eight and one, so I'm not sure. I guess that's how they're stacked. And then we can see that we have the arms here. We've got the battery here. We've got the motor nuts and everything, and some wires and other components here. And then our motor guards, Velcro straps, more cabling here. So we're going to start with the motors. Here we have um, saying the fastest or nothing is kind of like their slogan. It's just saying Fly Pro on the sides. Really nice looking motors. I mean, these are, you know, anodized red aluminum. And these are 2300 KV 2205, looks like motors. And we can see the venting on the side. Nice venting there. And that's it. So that's, we're getting four of these motors. Let's just go ahead and take all these out of the package here. One, two, three, four. Here's our FPV camera. So let's go ahead and pull this guy out. It's a run cam Swift model with a bracket there for pivoting. So that's our FPV camera. We've got some um, antenna equipment. So that's just a monopole antenna there with a little adapter as well, looks like. So we'll be running this off of the transmitter and we can position that however we want. Here's our four propellers. So we get four tri-bladed props. Let me just 
squeeze these out of here real quick. There we go. So four of these guys. These are nice looking propellers. Very rigid feeling. Uh, five by four point five by three. So getting into the actual circuit boards. That's going to be our. It looks like our FPV transmitter. Yep, right here is where we're going to be plugging in this little guy, this little mini connector. We're going to be pushing that on there when we build it. That's going to snap in and then we can position this in the chassis. So like if we wanted to change our frequency or our output power, we're going to do a you know, series of um, long pressing and short pressing to change all that stuff there. So we have our power distribution board with our built-in ESCs. So I think these should be uh, 30 amp ESCs, so plenty of power with an XT60 connector just already pre-built and soldered in there. Last thing in this top portion, you can see how there's nothing else in that. And this guy is going to be the flight controller. So Fly Pro F3 version 1.2 flight controller is what it's saying on this one. Nothing much, nothing too special to see here. We do have a little push-in switch here and then we've got micro USB input to adjust our flight controller. Probably going to be flashing this one with Betaflight and we'll see how that works. Our other connections for like receivers and all that kind of stuff. And let's see what's in this second tier of the package. Now these guys are thick. Look how thick these things are. So these look like they're, you know, three to four millimeter. These look like they're like four millimeter. So those are very thick. I like how they're removable, replaceable arms with, you know, a few screws. Take those out and you can replace your arms if you break them. I don't foresee you breaking these. These are pure carbon and very thick. So unless you're crashing really hard into some very hard stuff, you are not going to break those arms. Let's pull some things out of this. This looks like all the hardware. Bolts and screws, just all the hardware. Antenna hardware. That's cool. They give you a little dual little antenna mount system there to mount up your like FR Sky receiver. That's probably what I'm going to be using. Here's the battery. Look at this thing. So they're touting this to be 100C 13 100 milliamp lipo now that's a lot of output current now these are this is some thick cabling these are 12 gauge wires black xtc connectors on this thing so 200 c burst 5c max charge so i'd imagine that this battery if it is what they say it is is going to push this thing really fast 4s give you that in the box that's pretty awesome seems like everything is really tight in here but that's okay nice looking fly pro battery strap quality looks like this stuff ain't gonna slip around next bag is all of our connectivity cables you know for hooking in different kinds of receivers so they give us a plethora of all different kinds for that and further taking out the stuff in here looks like we have a little camera programming deal where we can program like our OSD for the camera over here we've got LED lights and a beeper nice this looks like a little brace anodized aluminum brace that's gonna go in the chassis speaking of the chassis pieces let's take these out so a little bit of a plastic padding with sticky tape on one side and then we have kind of our middle of the frame it looks like what this is carbon fiber and then we have like our camera or battery strap um, carbon fiber here and then check these out so these are the jaguar little side plates so those are cool aren't they never seen anything like that that's kind of neat how they're coming up with a design like this gives it a pretty neat custom look there and then all we have left in the box are these um, red you know motor protectors I'm sure these are definitely going to be optional but this thing is so fast that you're going to be crashing fast so I'm going to bet definitely be putting these on 
And that's it, guys. So I'm going to be binding this to my Tyrannus. I'm going to be, like I said, having my buddy Sage help me with the build. So um, let's go ahead and skip to that build video real fast. Again, that's going to be kind of a fast-forwarded, real quick little build just to show you guys how it all goes together. Um, no commentary, but you can, you can skip through that if you just want to see the flight test. But anyway, let's go ahead and build this thing.
right guys, so we're here at the park with a Jaguar and we're gonna give this thing a thorough flight test. Sage went ahead and did a great job at building this thing. This is the battery it comes with and I'm gonna do a quick little line of sight, maybe just for a couple minutes and then um, switch over to the fat shark goggles and record the video of how it looks there. And then I'm also gonna try to put on like the run cam on top uh, so you can see, you know, high definition video as well as the Fat shark goggles recording on the screen as I fly so you can kind of have both worlds there Okay, so I got the Tyrannus on configured with the Jaguar just had to set up the uh, switch settings for the modes Going ahead and turning on and the way this is set up is it's disarmed with beeper all the way back on this button SG all the way back is disarmed and in like beeper mode so in case you lose it and then this is beeper off in the middle position and then this would be armed you can see how the props are starting to spin when I arm it and then we're gonna have a few flight modes attitude mode with self-leveling no flips and then I believe the two up here are going to be horizon and or air mode or acro mode so we'll see exactly what that is I kind of forget what this one was programmed with so I'm armed up let's go ahead and flip it to arm up here go ahead and launch okay so this is self-leveling so you can see already how quick this thing is and uh, I'm in self-leveling there's a little bit of wind coming from my back maybe like five miles per hour so you can see it kind of coasting that way a bit so let's see what this thing's all about so this is um, ratitude mode so if I pull full stick to the right or left you see how it's a uh, maximum pitch setting there so I can't go any further or do any flips in this mode while we're in this mode and we have a fresh battery let's go ahead and do a punch test so from a hover to a punch now this should be exciting to see how well this performs full throttle now Wow and I'm fully off the sticks and it looks like this one's pretty good at keeping its um, its level when you're off the stick since the props spin a little bit so that's this one has enormous amounts of power let's do full pitch forward and full throttle you can see that design there is pretty cool that Jaguar so full pitch forward and full throttle now Whew. Wow thing definitely has some sound to it Wow okay Whoa. this arm okay so you saw how it kind of flipped a little bit so um, this is the first time I've flown this so keep in mind that you want to be careful with that if you're full throttle off and you start to kind of fall you know definitely want to be like in acro mode for doing crazy flights like that so you can see how it kind of hit the ground and then it kind of lost control a little bit anyway no big deal looks like everything's fine I can't really see anything bent here it looks okay I'm just gonna reposition the battery got just a little bit out of position okay so launching again let's try like a horizon mode so flipping the SD switch that I have programmed down to the middle should be able to do some flips let's see so punch up and full right roll yeah so that's possible it actually caught itself let's try that again so let's do kind of a little bit of a um, lower flip okay you can see how it's not super quick flips but good enough and I'm doing full stick off I'm just punching and then pretty much full stick off because the props are spinning so it still maintains its control a little bit so that's pretty cool so that's horizon mode and you know what that's pretty much all I want to do line of sight you can see how incredibly quick this thing is I don't want to get in too much trouble line of sight I want to save some battery on this one for the FPV I do have a few more 4s in the box maybe just a couple more punches two three that was like three flips so you're gonna be able to do some crazy acrobatics with this one you can see how that was kind of a throttle on flip so definitely has got the power very nice so I'm gonna go ahead and disarm this thing Let me see if I can do a disarm catch oh there we go all right cool so that's the lost beeper flip it up to the middle and we have the beeper off 
Okay, cool. So let's throw on these fat sharks. You can see how this thing is incredibly fast and has a lot of power. Line of sight. So let's see how this does, this thing does with the fat sharks on and go over the pros and cons. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the stock antenna that comes with this monopole antenna here, this standard antenna, and I'm not going to change that right now. I'm going to go ahead and just put the monopole that comes with the fat sharks on. It's good to know how these things work out of the box with their standard antenna. So let's do that first, then we'll switch them out if it's really bad. Self-leveling mode to start with, attitude mode. And here we go. Okay. So... A little bit scratchy, the FPV with this um, monopole antenna, you can see it there, it's not super clear. I really hope I'm on the right channel. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna take it easy kind of a little bit in, um, you know, attitude mode, kind of see what we can do. And then I'll be switching into um, some of the other modes, doing some flips, just flying around nice and easy. Let's go ahead and full pitch forward, punch it. Woo! I got going quick. All right, so I'm gonna switch into, um, I'm in horizon mode now. You can see that when I'm level, the camera is pointing significantly at, at the sky. Anyway, let's go ahead and fly around here and try to do some flips. Okay, so going to go ahead and um, do a right roll. Wow, super quick and easy, man. That was smooth. Let's go ahead and do a Ford flip. So, you know, you let off the stick and it will self-level. Let's go around this tree. It's probably gonna cut out a little bit. Yeah, wow. So you can see that. So this monopole may not be really working too well for this squad here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come in and um, try to switch the antenna real quick, just real fast switch it so I have a clear view. Probably gonna do two circular polarized antennas. Okay, whoa. <laughs> okay, you wanna be careful landing this one because you land this thing and it will kind of freak out. So, you wanna disarm right when you land as far as what I could see. Anyway, let me switch this antenna out and see if we can get some better FPV. Okay, so I'm going to just switch to this um, right-hand circular polarized set of Amway antennas. And I'm going to have one on the craft here. And then I'm also going to just put one on the uh, fat shark so you guys can kind of see what the difference is in FPV. I'm hoping this will solve our problems as long as I'm on the right channel. I'm just going to tilt this up a little bit. These are cool because you can bend them. You know, they're kind of stiff, so you can bend them, and they'll stay wherever you bend them. So let's reboot this up, get our FPV going, and continue on with our FPV flight. Okay. So, got, still got some lines in the screen. I'm not sure what that's all about, but... This is as far as I'm going to go for this one. I got those two circular polarized antennas on. Wow. So uh, behind that tree, man, it gets pretty bad. But uh, anyway, I guess don't fly any behind any trees with this one. Let's go ahead and switch into horizon mode again. And I guess for this one, I'm not going to really go too far with this because it loses FPV pretty quick. Just gonna be keep doing some flips, you know. Um, maybe I'll go over under some of these trees. See what I can do. There we go, Flander here. Okay, so that's possible. FPV did kind of break up a little. You lose it really quick there, but uh, still fun. Punch up. Two, three. Three spins. Oh, I'm way the heck up here. You can get up quick with this one. See how fast the punching was. Okay, so I'm still in horizon mode where it's self-leveling, but I do have flips. Let me switch into full acro. So full acro, wherever I put the stick, it'll stay there until I pull the stick back. So just flying full acro, nice and smooth. A little bit of break up there. Maybe it's the way I'm turning my head. Now, well, hopefully I'm on the right channel. Takes some time to figure out the right channel on FPV systems and 
um, you really should figure out what the, ch the right channel is before you do stuff like this. Sometimes I don't have the time to completely get it correct, but this one seems to be doing well enough. So smooth, doing some flips. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, man? Shucks, I forgot to put that um, run cam on top. So when I hear the beeping, oh, guess what? I didn't hear a beeper. So I'm turning everything off. It looks like I ran out of power. All right, so you hear it there. This thing was beeping. It's just not super loud if you're far away from yourself. I can hear it close by. That's the low voltage. Uh, pushing this back would be the actual loss beeper function. But you can hear it is going into a low voltage beep. So it was, it was low voltaging, beeping, and that's my bad. I should have been flying a, a little bit closer to myself when I knew the um, voltage was getting low. But there's the beeper there. It does work. Just a little bit quiet. And you can configure, you know, telemetry on your Tyrannus to tell you if you're low voltage. I haven't done that, but um, you can also do that. So you have that link, and then it will actually speak to you when voltage is low, and you can come back. Anyway, let me pop in one more battery and uh, put the run cam up here so you guys can see what kind of HD video this thing can get. Propellers are still fine. I'm not seeing anything bent. No kinks after a couple of easy crashes. I haven't really pummeled it into the ground hard because it's actually difficult to pummel it into the ground super hard because it does fly well. So anyway, let's put another battery in there and see what we can do. All right, so got the run cam mounted up. You can see it mounted here. It's just right on the top, nice and simple with the stock run cam to um, Velcro tape. Not sure how that's gonna hold in a crash, but I guess we'll find out. All right. So self-leveling, let's go ahead and go straight into Acro, kind of where we left off and see what we can do. So this battery is a Venom, same MH 1300. It's got a little bit less of a C rating. The one it comes with claims like 100 C, this is like a 65 or 75 or something. But uh, anyway, here we go. Cruising around the park here. Don't want to get into any people's business. And be very careful when you're flying in the park to don't even attempt if there's anybody around but cool so the FPV looks pretty good I mean I'm getting some lines but uh, nothing too major you know maybe there's some interference around here or whatever but maybe it's my fault but good enough for me to fly around with uh, let's go shoot these trees. So you can see how when we get around the trees there, um, just like any FPV, you are going to get that, you know, a little bit of a breakup. You got to punch out, get out of there from around the trees, and um, your signal will come back. Let's try to do a flip over that tree. Cool. So I'm way out in the field here, and it seems like I've got great video. And, you know, that's um rule of thumb in any FPV system is line of sight is gonna give you the really the best. Here's an example behind this tree. Oh my gosh, can't see what's going on. Punch up, get clear line of sight and get back to what you're doing. You know what I mean? So, you know, I don't know exactly. Maybe it's, I have this uh, 32 or 40 channel, um, VTX in here aftermarket from like a different company so maybe this VTX isn't the best from the stock fat shark it enables me to just get more channels anyway let's do some more flipping and punching one two three nice getting a little more radical here let's not hit this fence come around do some quick turning Let's try and do some low and quick flying. I want to make sure I'm close enough after a couple minutes. I'm seeing my time on the right there. You see the 3.37 on the right of the screen. So I want to once in a while come over to me. See if I can hear it beeping. I don't hear any beeping yet. But you know, this has like a low voltage kind of cutoff. Let's go around here. Woo! 
so you are going to be able to it'll just drop if it gets too low and then just go ahead and disarm if you can't hear the beeper definitely don't want to be behind on around any people whoa so i just punched up there and got away from that tree you could see that so you know what a decent flyer this is um beta flight stock settings i don't think anything was changed except some of the gains a little bit just to make it a little quicker like the yaw upside down back up so you can do a lot this is this is a racer you know you buy this thing if you know how to race and you will do good if you know how to race so we're going on four minutes i'm not sure how long i had it on before the timer was counting down but let's see if we can hear any beeping no i don't hear anything okay let's just keep going all right yeah so getting a little more quick with it and you can see how it's got some speed and i hope that run cam is recording because i'm really not feeling any flutter just trying to zip around wow so press with this you can decide for yourself let's do some quick turns see for that you could even angle the camera further up a little bit of flutter in that reverse turn there oh so i just hit the ground i think the battery felt a little weak so i'm going to end it there and let's go through the pros and cons wow okay i lost the run cam let me go get that well i'm getting that let's go ahead and go through the pros and cons maybe put a little bit of velcro underneath here if you're going to put a run cam on here but that run cam fits really well there it is lucky thing it's orange easy to spot so quick little pros and cons first off seems very durable i'm um, looking at the props after that did a few crashes light crashes no props are bent no kinks everything seems a-okay you know a little bit of grass spatter in here as you can see that's going to happen with whatever you're flying but it handled very well just with basic beta flight settings nothing special nothing was tuned just bumped up the rates a little for quicker flipping and yawing and stuff uh, it seemed like the monopole antenna you're going to want to switch that out to something like you know uh, clover leaf right away so that's a little bit of a con otherwise very good had a lot of power maybe not quite as much power as some other equivalent quads but definitely this thing was very stable uh, just going to want to be careful with it when it lands you want to want to disarm it like right away you could see how it would get a little bit crazy i think the first coming in i almost like hit my legs because it got a little crazy when it hit the ground and you know the beeper did work can't really hear it from very far but that's why you got to time your flights and if you can if you know how to connect to the telemetry on your tyrannus you can also do that i haven't done that yet before i'll probably need to learn how to do that and get that going so it'll warn me to come in when the battery's low Anyway, guys, I hope you liked that flight and that was informative for you. Anyways, do a lot of reviews like these, and I will have the link down in the description. And thanks to Sage Master for building this thing for me. He did a great job, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.